welcome back to mystical kannada friends in our last video we learned about the gangas of talakadi and today we shall know more about the chalukyas of badami dynasty the badami chalukyas ruled in badami from 543 to 753 ad they were practicing vaishnavism and shaivism the most prominent kings among them were king mangaleshi king pulikeshi 2 and king vikramaditya their business language was kannada the language of script and inscriptions were sanskrit and kannada the major literary works and authors of this period are kaumudi mahotsava by vijaya bhattarika and karnateshwara katha by jayakirti the rule of the chalukyas marked an important milestone in the history of south india and a golden age in the history of karnataka the age of small kingdoms had given way to large empires in this region with the ascendancy of badami chalukyas a southern india based kingdom took control and consolidated the entire region between the kaveri and the narmada rivers the rise of this empire saw the birth of efficient administration overseas trade and commerce and the development of new style of architecture called chalukyan architecture the chalukya dynasty was established by pulikeshi 1 in 543 ad pulikeshi 1 took vatapi the present badami in bagalkot district under his control and made it his capital pulikeshi 1 and his descendants are referred as chalukyas of badami he adapted the title vallabheshwara and performed the ashwamedha yagya the founders of the empire at badami were native to the modern karnataka region the chalukyas however addressed themselves as hariputras of manavya sagotra in their inscriptions which is the same lineage as their early overlords the kadambas of banavasi chalukya originated from salki or chalki which is a kannada word for an agricultural implement pulikeshi 2 is considered one of the notable kings in indian history the kingdom rapidly rose to prominence during his reign he was most commonly known as immadi pulikeshi his queens were princes from the alupa dynasty of south kanara and the western ganga dynasty of talkad clans with whom the chalukyas maintained close family and marital relationships it is presumed pulikeshi 2 the great hero died fighting he was known as dakshina pateshwara and also chalukya parameshwara the chalukyas of padami following the vedic religion were initially vaishnavas and later accepted shaivism vishnu shiva kartikeya varaha ganapati shakti surya saptamatrikas lajja gauri and lakulisha were worshiped by them The region of the Chalukyas saw the arrival of Kannada as the predominant language of inscriptions along with Sanskrit. Chalukyas inscriptions are in Kannada and Sanskrit and their inscriptions call them Karnatas and their names use indigenous Kannada titles such as Priyagallam and Nodutta Gelva. The names of some Chalukya princes end with the pure Kannada term Arasas meaning the king or chief the rashtrakuta inscriptions call the chalukyas of badami karnatabala meaning the power of karnataka inscriptions in sanskrit and kannada are the main source of information about badami chalukya history among them the badami cave inscriptions of mangalesha in 578 ad kappe arbata record of 700 ad pedda vadaguru inscription of pulikeshi 2 the kanchi kailasanatha temple inscription and pattatkal virupaksha temple inscription of vikramaditya 2 all in kannada language provide more evidence of the chalukya language the badami cliff inscription of pulikeshi 1 in 543 ad the mahakuta pillar inscription of mangalesha in 595 ad and the ihone inscription of pulikeshi 2 in 634 ad are examples of important sanskrit inscriptions written in old kannada script several coins of the badami chalukyas with kannada legends have been found all this indicates that kannada language 
flourished during this period. Vikramaditya II engraved a Kannada inscription on the victory pillar at the Kailasanatha temple. The travelogues of contemporary foreign travelers have provided useful information about the Chalukyan Empire. The Chinese traveler Wan Zhang had visited the court of Pulikeshi II. At the time of his visit, as mentioned in the Ayodhya record, Pulikeshi II had divided his empire into three Maharashtrakas or great provinces comprising 99,000 villages each. This empire possibly covered present-day Karnataka, Maharashtra, and coastal Konkan. He was so impressed with the governance of the empire, observed that the benefits of the king's efficient administration was felt far and wide. Later, Persian emperor Khusro II exchanged ambassadors with Pulikeshi II. The Badami Chalukya era was an important period in the development of South Indian architecture. The kings of this dynasty were called Umapati Varlabdha and built many temples for the Hindu god Shiva. Their style of architecture is called Chalukyan architecture or Karnataka Dravida architecture. The building materials they used was a reddish golden sandstone found locally. These cave temples are basically excavations cut out of the living rock sites they occupied. They were not built as their structural counterparts were, rather created by a special technique known as subtraction and are basically sculptural cave temples, prominent among which are three elementary cave temples at Aihole, one Vedic, one Jain and one Buddhist which is incomplete. In Badami, the three cave temples are Vedic and one is Jain. The Vedic temples contain large, well-sculpted images of Harihara, Mahishasura Mardini, Varaha, Narasimha, Trivikrama, Vishnu seated on Ananta, the snake, and Nataraja, the dancing Shiva. The temple building at Aihole, where some 70 structures exist, has been called one of the cradles of Indian temple architecture. The Lard Khan temple with its interesting perforated stone windows and sculptures of river goddesses is a flat roofed structure. The Durga temple with its northern Indian style tower and experiments to adapt a Buddhist chaitya design to a Brahminical one are prominent. The Huchi Malivudi temple is very similar to the Durga temple but smaller than it. The Meghuti Jain temple of 634 AD which shows progress in structural design. And the Melagitti Shivalaya is a small but finely proportioned and magnificently located temple. Well known among these are the Sangameshwara temple of 725 AD, the Virupaksha temple 745 AD. A direct imitation of the Kailasanatha temple of Kanchi was built by one of the queens of Vikramaditya II and the Mallikarjuna temple 745 AD in the southern style. The Papanatha temple 680 AD and the Galaganatha temple 740 AD are early attempts in the Nagara Dravida fusion style. The army was well organized and this was the reason for Pulikeshi II's success beyond the Vindhyas. It consisted of an infantry, a cavalry, an elephant corps and a powerful navy. The Chinese traveler Yuan Tsai wrote that the Chalukyan army had hundreds of elephants which were intoxicated with liquor prior to battle. It was with their navy that they conquered Revati Dwipa that is the present Goa and Puri on east coast of India. Rashtrakuta inscriptions use the term Karnata Bala when referring to the powerful Chalukya armies. The government at higher levels were closely modeled after the Magadhan and Shatavahana administrative machinery. The Badami Chalukyas minted coins that were of a different standard compared to the coins of the northern kingdoms. The coins had Nagari and Kannada legends. The coins of Mangalesha had the symbol of a temple on the observe and the sketcher between lamps or a temple on the rivers. Pulakeshi II's coins had a caparisoned lion facing right on the observe and a temple on the rivers. The coins weighed 4 grams and were called in old Kannada Hun or Honnu meaning money and a gold coin called 
Kadyana is mentioned in a record at the Vijayeshwara temple at Patathal which later came to be known as Varaha their royal emblem a celebration called Chalukya Utsava a 3 day festival of music and dance organized by the government of Karnataka is held every year at Patathal Badami and Aihole the event is a celebration of the achievements of the chalukyans in the realm of art craft music and dance the program which starts at patathal ends in aihole the chalukyas ruled over the deccan plateau that comprised the entire state of karnataka and most of andhra pradesh the chalukyas were separated into two branches of which the eastern chalukyas made vengi in godavari district and later rajamandri as their capital while the western chalukyas with whom karnataka is chiefly concerned continued to rule from vatapi and eventually from kalyana in the bidar district in between ruled the rashtrakutas the chalukyas ruled for over 600 years that's about the chalukyas of badami we shall meet in our next video related to the rashtrakuta dynasty Until then like Canada love Canada and subscribe mystical Canada for lot more interesting videos about Canada and Karnataka Siriganadam gelge siriganadam valge